It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We're playing 7x7 seven seven ages still. We're still down to the final three. This could be a pretty big turn, though. Um, if For those of you who have been following along, which if you're not, this is not a good time to start. Um, this progress marker, when it gets here, someone is going to be eliminated. We're down to our final two um, last, last person standing. Uh, phase of the game once we get to the progress marker here. We're still going on points, however, and the big point battle is still between Giraffe and Flush. Flush has the point advantage. Giraffe has probably the board advantage. That's kind of the way I've been describing it because that's the way I've been looking at it. Um, so, we, we start the turn. Start Empire. No Empire starting by Flush, which is interesting because he could start an Empire. He's the only one who could, but he opted not to. Um, Giraffe had production. The only one who did production with her Russians here. A little bit of build-up, not much. She, she uh, The flooding that occurred here made it so that she's not producing as much as she otherwise would uh, in terms of money. And um, But she was able to reinforce uh, her line here. That's kind of going up against the Germans and also get some some ex would be explorers over here. She really wants to push into India because as soon as she gets anyone into India, since India has no one else in there, she's going to get one more point and she needs to get points however possible this this turn or whenever she can, probably I mean next turn if she if she is able to choose maneuver for the Russians. Trade and progress phase and the only trading and progressing or the only trading anyway to be initiated is by Runt, but she is going to be doing it twice. Both her Pharaonic Egyptians and her modern state are going to be both trading with the Portuguese. That is going to potentially put the Portuguese over the line. Since that's the case, I think you might want to follow along with the dice rolling. So here we have the red here are flush and the yellow are Runt's Pharaonic Egyptians. Um, she already, they've already traded cards. All right, so see here, attack neutral. Yeah, definitely better for the Egyptians. It's hard for the Egyptians. So in this case, as I've described last time, it's in the, the Egyptians' best interest to lose this, right? Because Runt wants Flush to trigger the end game because Flush is in a terrible position. And if he triggers the end game, then it's going to be down to the two of them, and then she just has to beat him up, which she feels like she could do no problem. I mean, he's got the Portuguese here. Right. Just a little reminder, I know I've talked about this a lot, and the Japanese over here, both in, both not doing so great. Um, so, looks like she won the trade pretty easily. Look there, she's got both of those. This is going to take all three of these, and he's just going to get one out of it. So it's five to one. So, she won the trade. That's only going to put him up one. And it's going to bring those up too. And that, that actually brings... Oh, I forgot. Actually, i got to roll one more die for him. Because he has passed the Renaissance. All right, that was another defender. So that's going to, I think, trade three for one there. So it's three to one still. She's still one. Um, yeah, so she passed... The Egyptians passed the Renaissance here. I don't know where the marker is. That's why I'm using this plus one go there. Um... So the the end isn't going to be triggered, but he does have some, some airplanes now, a different kind of airplane. Someone probably knows the difference between this airplane and this airplane, but they're they seem similar to me. And then next, I think this is atomic bombs, and these are yeah. All right, so modern state is going to try the same thing. Let's let's go ahead and I I I'm gonna I need my hands. And I didn't show the second trade because the stakes weren't as high. There was no way he was going to make it to here flush unless he had some special card. But I don't think there's a card that makes it so you progress an extra one after a trade. So the, this, the second trade was a total tie. Neither of them got any attack dice. So um, they both just went up one. So that means Portuguese are two away. And that means that probably next turn, that's going to be the last one uh, for one of our players. Just finished the maneuver phase. Didn't see much happening other than the um, spreading out of the Germans. The Germans have taken to the ocean and spread out into Italy, which uh, is, is nice for their money. They're going to be able to get some more money there. Uh, one in the mountains, but mainly the waterways. That's a big thing. Uh, why why do that? Well, it's nice to spread out. That's going to be good for funds. The Germans will, uh, will have some good production capability uh, in the near future. 
whenever they choose to produce. Also, I think they might have more European spaces than the Russians, so that's going to hurt Giraffe's point potential. Remember, Run is trying to suppress Giraffe's points so that she doesn't have to have to fight her at the end of the game. And I want to see if you notice anything different about the map here. This is a test of your power of observation. Uh, if you haven't noticed yet what's different, we'll look around the outsides here. Maybe go in counterclockwise or clockwise there. Go ahead and call it out if you notice what's different. <gasps> Dun, dun, dun. The Russians are now under Flush's control. He caused a new dynasty to happen. This is a Flush color here. This kind of um, brown. I really like that color of brown. Um, I think it's pleasing to look at. Uh, if you notice, uh, part of the deal for him to get all these spaces was he had to take on a lot of disorder. Uh, he used this new dynasty card in order to uh, take over the Russians. The reason he could do that is because they had some disorder in their area because of the flood from before. If you have, it, you can only play it on an uh, empire that has two disorders. So that helps him in two ways. One, it puts him in a striking position against Runt, because presumably he's going to be there at the end. That's what he hopes. And two, it you know that that was a big score for Giraffe. I think the Russians were her biggest score. So that that. He was able to strike at both of them with that move. Unfortunately, his land reforms, which he thought were going to um, get rid of all the disorder, got canceled out by Run. She played a bad augury card, which canceled the land reform, so all the disorder's still there. Still, that's going to change things quite a bit. He's he's in kind of a. I mean, the Russians aren't the best position now, though, because they have the Mongolians over here, they have the Egyptians to the south, the Germans over here, and they are fully disordered. Um, special note, special gameplay note, um, this brown counter set, there weren't as many uh, units as there are, as there were for this, this kind of pinkish counter set. Eh, it's not pink, it's a kind of purple, right? I mean, purpley pink. Moth? Is that moth? I don't know my colors. Um, and so they weren't able to, there weren't enough units to go around. Uh, so that's that was trouble. He had to, he lost Moscovy there, or no, Mordovia, sorry. Um, and he had to just kind of put some different units just so that he could cover all, all the lands that the Russians had. They were quite spread out. And the round is going to end with another something of a flush surprise. He has discarded the Portuguese. Um, that is going to make it so that Runt can no longer force the end of Giraffe and give in Flush bought himself a little more time. Now, hopefully for Flush anyway, in that amount of time, Giraffe isn't able to rebuild <coughs> and come back and eliminate him. But that does certainly change things. He was, I think he was figuring, you know, if it does end, He's not going to be in a good position with any of his empires right now, even with the Russians, because the Russians are not equal to probably the Germans right now, much less the Germans and the Egyptians, both going against them. Um, so that you know that was a slick move. So now we we, we look back. It's like the every we we kind of went back to age six now, and our our most progressed state is now the modern state. So we're. We're a ways to go. Now, Runt's going to probably still be trying to, to build herself back up, try, uh, to try to progress as soon as, as quickly as possible. Um, what are the chances of both Giraffe and Flush? Uh, they both now have the capability to start another empire, so a lot is going to depend on what's in their hand. Now, Flush did play a card during the last Destiny phase to um, make it so Giraffe wasn't able to draw as many, so she has fewer choices than he does, uh, fewer chances to, to draw an empire that could even be played in age six. Um, seems like on the ends of things, in the high end and the low end, there are fewer empires to choose from, and maybe fewer on the high end than the low end? I don't know, it just might seem like that. Uh, but definitely um, some exciting turn event events, even if it was a fairly quick turn. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what they do next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, 7 by 7 Ages.